never got to actually meet Todd Skinner. You know, he was this larger than life persona. You know, I'd come across his name in guidebooks and in stories and he was always sort of a phantom mentor to me and I really wanted to model my climbing after that. The Strawberry Roan was bolted around 20 years ago. It was one of the very first routes that Todd ever bolted in Lander. It's a very striking line. It's very much adventure sport climbing. It sat almost unclimbed for 20 years. There's been a few suitors, local boys, strong kids that have come and put some efforts in on it, but no one's really devoted a lot of time, probably due to the aspect. I would like to feel better and secure going into that block section. Not only is the Strawberry Roan pretty near the limits that lay for I climb, you know, especially on the road like this, but just getting there is, I mean, it's more exercise than most people do in a week, possibly a year for most Americans. I mean, this isn't Rifle Mountain Park. See about putting my trick finger to use today. Uh, I came out here to Lander, Wyoming uh, to meet up with my friend and fellow Evolve athlete, Leif Gash. We see each other in Lander every year for the Climbers Festival and uh, the thing that really, really struck us both as something to do was uh, try to finish off an old Todd Skinner project called the Strawberry Roan. It's so good and it's so quality, it's amazing that it hasn't seen a first ascent yet. I mean, it's just, it's almost hard to believe. We did our recon yesterday. The route was quite clean considering it, no one's been on it in, I don't know, five, six years, maybe longer. I think today the goal is going to be see what kind of big links we can make. Um, obviously the bigger the better. <laughs> I stopped watching from the first
I mean, we're having our own little adventure. Chris and I are having our own little adventure on this route um, and being able to walk down that same path that Todd really sort of laid out for us. We'll never be able to get to go on another trip with Todd, but with this project, we sort of are getting to climb with Todd. After I climb the Strawberry Roan, I'm probably going to give up climbing. I'm going to buy a boat and a hat with horns, maybe an axe. I'm going to start sacking countries. <laughs> Apparently I'm too big to be a rock climber, so I don't know. <laughs>